how to build a makeup kit for all you beginners. So yeah, let's move to the video. First things first, you have to prep your skin well, really, really well. Use your favorite moisturizer and make sure your skin is moisturized. After that, you will always use a primer. So for dry skin girls out there, I would always recommend you guys to use something that is moisturizing or illuminating to give you that glow. My first recommendation is going to be Max Stroke Cream. I really, really swear by this one. It is a bit expensive. Do not worry, I have got a cheaper alternative for you. You can always use the, the Pons Lumi Cream. I don't have it right now, but I'll just insert a picture right here. Stroke Cream is basically the one that illuminates your face. It just gives you that dewy finish, that glow. And for oily skin type girls, you can use the Lacme Block Perfect. It has a very silicone-y texture. It will blur out your pores, your lines. You know, you can just blur it out with this one. After the primer, we are going to move on to concealers. So for concealers, I always buy two concealers. That is one that is going to be a darker concealer and the other one that is going to be exactly my shade. So for darker concealer, I'm going with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. It is super blendable and for liquid concealer, this is also really, really creamy and blends well on your skin. You can use your brush, your sponge, whatever you like. For darker areas where you have hyperpigmentation or where your skin is slightly bit darker then you could first go with a darker concealer and onto that you can apply your own shade concealer so that the darkness would disappear and it won't look grayish or patchy after the concealers we will move on to foundation so for foundation i have two recommendations one is for dry skin type one is for oily skin type as i have dry skin type i prefer using k beauty foundation i really, really love the texture it is so smooth so moisturizing so hydrating it does not have a lot of coverage uh, but if you're going for a no makeup makeup look or you just want something on your face just to cover a bit dark spots here and there then you can really really go with this foundation it is not high on coverage it's just a sheer to medium coverage it's buildable but not that buildable that you get full full fuller coverage with this one so yeah and for oily skin type we have 24 hour super stay foundation i am in the shade 128 warm nude all the shades all the links to the products everything will be down in the description box if you really like something you can buy from there 24 hour super stay foundation it is really amazing gives you a matte finish that is the reason why i am recommending it to oily skin girls uh, if you have dry skin uh, make sure you moisturize well and then you apply this one or else your skin is gonna look really, really dry and parched so we don't want that so If you are someone who does not like to apply a lot of foundation and you are more into skin tints, don't worry, I have got you covered. So for skin tints, I have two options. First would be the Bioderma uh, Tinted Sunscreen. I know it's a sunscreen, but this works amazing. If you want sun protection as well as a little bit of tint, then you can go with this one. This is really creamy, real super blendable. Everything is very, really, really nice about this one. It is a bit expensive. If you do not have the budget for the Bioderma one, you can always go for Maybelline with Vitamin C Fresh Tint. It is really nice. It has SPF 50. And in this, I am in the shade 05. Now, we will move with blushes. Now, blush, I really, really love one particular blush super inexpensive guys super inexpensive you must you must buy it you must you must you must you must you must buy it it's from swiss beauty cream and tint it's in the color strawberry sizzle it's really nice it also has i guess four shades uh this one and it's worth it buy it after the blush we are gonna move on to highlighter so for highlighter, I'm gonna recommend you guys the Insight Makeup Essential Highlighter. It's in the shade Moonstone Bliss. 
this one is so creamy so creamy it really glides on your skin like butter and it does not have those chunky particles it will give you a, like a glow from within kind of a look if you like this you have to buy it after highlighter we move on to mascara so if you don't have a eyelash curler you can invest in one so this one is super hyped maybelline makes the best mascaras in india it has a beautiful wand and you know it gives you that length and that volume so yeah you can always get this one for a mascara uh, now we move on to eyebrows so for eyebrows i've been using the elf wow brow uh, in the shade deep brown and this also has fibers in it like the one from benefit it is as good as the benefit one you can choose your color i really think the 02 deep brown color really complements our indian skin tone and you can also buy a spoolie just to brush out your eyebrows and now we move on to lipsticks for lipsticks i have a lot of recommendations so and the first one is going to be the maybelline matte ink lipstick and this one is in the shade uh, ring leader it's a warm pink color uh, it dries down matte if you want something that you want it to last longer throughout the day you can always go for the maybelline matte ink lipsticks It's really nice so moving on we move to the MAC powder kiss liquid lipstick this one's really, really nice it has a velvet finish satin velvet finish you must uh try this one this is from the cult famous uh meher's liquid version this one is called more the merrier uh this one is really nice you have to try this if you have if you do not have the budget do not worry something just like this one we have is ink velvet in the shade nude uh this one's really nice this is super creamy this gives you more of more of velvet gloss texture yeah but this will move around in about 3 4 hours uh so you have to keep on reapplying this one thanks for watching the video if you like the video please like the video also share it with your friends who want to build a makeup kit So yeah share it with them and also subscribe to my channel and also if you have any suggestions as to what makes